It has the mandate of the people. You may have your views. Respect it. It is expected in a democracy that we should have disagreement. But you don't use such disagreement to stampede the government. So I don't know why they've come to sit here. When you have a, a prejudiced mind, what are you coming to do? To ask questions to embarrass them, then go ahead and say that we have failed you. Is that what they are here to do? Well, I'm disappointed in the NDC. And if they really want to portray themselves as a party ready to take the reins of government, then they should behave well. What they are doing is way below belt, and they are not demonstrated political maturity in their conduct. Now I ask, is Artu Forsen and his team merely toothless? So they will sit in parliament and they will receive direct orders from uh, Mr. Fifi Kwete. He himself has been a member of parliament before, he knows. Mr. Asedun Katia was a member of parliament, at least more than three times, or he did some three times. So he knows about parliament. He serves on the Parliamentary Service Board. So we expect them to uh, know better. For the avoidance of doubt, Article 94.2 is very clear who qualifies to be a Minister of State. We have fundamental qualification to be a member of Parliament. And that qualification automatically, you know, gets you to be constitutionally fit for ministerial appointment. Is it their contention that all that they are doing, you know, has any foundation in the constitution? I beg to say no, nothing of the sort. So uh, we, are, we are going to uh, observe them and see their next line of action. Uh, I will leave my colleague uh, uh, Patrick Buama to add a few points. Leader, you said it all. Uh, let's go in and uh, listen to how the process goes. And I believe at the end of the day, you make your own judgments. Thank you very much. <laughs>